going to help size. Tell me, what kind of cookies are you making? I am making brown sugar apple spice. Has some maple in there too. So reminiscent of like a apple cider donut during fall. My husband grew up on the coast, so he inspired the cookie flavor. Could you describe your home silhouette scene yet? So I am doing a window scene with Alyssa there, designating into her house, and it's going to be her silhouette working at her home during the key part. Is the light source? So the backlight of my cookie is going to be this little lantern. So the most difficult part of this challenge for me is how am I going to make this more than just a black-eyed thing laid on a cookie? So it's going to use colors and it's going to be icing transfers to have a sense of texture and texture to it. So I'm going to be making a snickerdoodle. Everybody loves a snickerdoodle. A little bit further back, one point around magazine. Sugar, 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 sugar. It's going to be a lot of cinnamon, a lot of sugar. Because it's made of cookies that have to be in six inches. It's a huge cookie. So there's a little extra butter, a little bit of extra vanilla, a little extra everything. And then we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. So the silhouette is something that is backlit. So it's basically like the shadow of something. Which I'm going to try to do a little bit of cinnamon. Because I typically like to incorporate a lot of color. I'm Janelle Sloan for uh, but I have found that I'm all really things like more glitter, the better. So, my strategy going into this is to do as much color as possible. It's definitely not going to be all black and green. Yo, Janelle! Do you like Snickerdoodle? I love Snickerdoodle. Okay, good. I do want to know what your design is going to be. But, anyway, I like the way it looks quite big. I'm going to make a classic graveyard theme with a spooky tree, some tombstones, and then I'm going to put the best. And I don't know if it's a little wettish or not, but I'm going to add white ghosts. Probably my hands are different. Because I cannot do a cookie that has no color. I'm using all of the things that you think of when you think of I'm a little nervous that what I have in my mind isn't quite the same. You need to make a switch to make it better. Do it. So you've got to trust yourself. Okay. As long as I stay true to what I do on a regular basis, I think I'll be okay. Because I'm not going to be a proud mother of two kids. So I think that this is really cool for them to be able to say, I'm one. Halloween is a challenge. Things like that. Here goes nothing. That's really good. I'm Becca Steele. I'm going to be able to do that. After having an accident and losing my life, I found out that the baby is therapeutic. It just takes my mind off everything around me. Making Halloween cookies gives me the freedom of making something uh, weird, crazy. Uh, I love showing my uh, hand painting uh, technique on a cookie. With that. And the dream is and on top of that, my own favorite. And I am very confident now because I've done many so many of this. I need a lot of pumpkin for my silhouette cookie. It's a pumpkin spine cookie dough. With pumpkin spice and bread. Oh, my goodness. It's going to hit you right on the face. The pumpkin is going to hit you right on the face. The pumpkin is going to hit you right on the face. The pumpkin is going to hit you right on the face. It's Halloween, it's pumpkin time, but it's really risky to use pumpkin because it might make my cookie too soft and great, but hopefully with a little more flour, we'll be fine. And then, my fall flavor. Now, we do have the beer mount on this. What's your silhouette design going to be? Are you going to be able to do that? Are you going to be able to do that? Are you going to be able to do that? Oh, my gosh, it's like my family reunion. Now, for the light source, I'm using a little bit. And for the silhouette, it's a bunch of witches walking in the middle of the night, gathering together in a hundred dozzle with two different okay. frames. On uh, the one side, a silhouette of a tree. On the other side, a pumpkin patch. Made of the ugly ass trees. Back in Mexico, where I grew up, there is a legend of the witches gathering. Did you know that you pretty much built my entire love for baking? No way! Are you kidding? You are so sweet! But the star has been. Everything I did was trying to follow your steps or trying to copy whatever you did, and then I started making my own. Baking changed my life. They wanted another battle. Saved my life. The battle rifle. We only have one cooking, one dance, one going. Alright. So I really, really hope that Josh is like my squad of design. Zest, zest, I'm Jane Gale, and I am the Halloween Cookie Queen. It's my favorite holiday, and I love everything cookies, so it just matches perfectly. So, to chop up the cookie legend, when I quit my pastry chef job, just stay home and make cookies, I did not envision that this is where this would end up. So, if I were to witness the magician, it's going to be confirmation that making cookies cool.